Today we light a candle sacrifice for the new year. Welcome to another episode of I'm Figuring My Life Out and I'm forcing you guys to watch me do it today. Well, first of all, as I said, we're lighting a candle for the new year. The new year is upon us and that gives us an excuse to sort of set some goals for ourselves and I have things in mind for myself, um, which I'll talk about, I don't know, at the end if I'm feeling romantic or something. But in the meantime, while I run my trap, maybe you guys can sort of at least start brainstorming if you haven't already on what you would like out of the new year, out of yourself or um, habits or whatever. And then we can have a little cute discussion uh, in the comments afterwards. Uh, today's video will be a short one. It's basically just the next step in documenting my whole career process, figuring it out in the world of illustration. And what I have to show you is, um, I have two of them actually, uh, these leave behind guys. Um, if you don't know what a leave behind is, it's when you go to a, well, a lot of businesses use it, not necessarily um, small artists. It's something to leave behind with whoever you've just done an interview with or a tour with or you've just stopped into their business to be like, hey, you should remember me. So that's what I've done because I know that next week because I'm going up to South Carolina, uh, there's a couple businesses in the downtown that I think I'd like to sort of have them remember me maybe. Uh, they're ad agencies and we'll see where it goes. They're not hiring illustrators right now, so I'm not thinking there's a good chance, but maybe they will see this and then think, maybe we need an illustrator. So let's go, let's go on a tour, shall we? I got these made through Office Depot, um, and I'll explain why instead of just printing them at home. But the idea is it's a Z fold guy or accordion fold, depending on what you wanna call it. So it looks like this from the top and it looks like this from the front, and this from the side, and this from the other side. And it's pretty simple, usually, you know, you just have like a Z-fold thing, but I wanted to have some really uh, vertical, yeah, really vertical pieces. So this and this, because um, squares wouldn't do these justice, they'd be super tiny. So I kind of had to use creative solutions to figure out how I was gonna do that, and that's sort of what I came up with. So. Uh, looking at this in an organized way, you have your front page, an introduction, like, hi, this is me, um, and I have a little cute little diagram in my brain, and then first page is a piece that I think fairly represents me and myself as an artist pretty well, and then we have, um, I'm graduating, here's my accomplishments, um, Shaquille O'Neal, and then what I'm passionate about, so to include a little bit about uh, who you are instead of just you as an artist. Sometimes they like to see, oh, this person has a life outside of art. Uh, someone at the company might be a hiker and then they might see this and be like, oh, I like to hike too. And then we have a thanks at the back. So that's how it looks on one side. And then the other side is, is this, the beginning and the thanks with two more pieces. And I wanted to choose both sort of illustrated and design work. Um, and I included some typography because they are ad agencies and that's kind of what they'd be doing. And then of course, these two pieces, both um, kind of like commercial work examples. So this was actually for a client. This one was like a mock sort of thing for a client. I have everything labeled at the top here, you can see, um, or the side. Oh, that's not the side. Yeah, so that's the whole thing in, in a nutshell, really. Um, hire me you know <laughs> like what if you hired me just kidding unless uh, so like I said I got these printed through Office Depot because they are pretty large guys um, when you fold it all out my printer couldn't do that so I had to go somewhere else to get that done and they did a really good job um, unfortunately though on the size of paper they couldn't do double-sided so I had to get front printed back printed then I had to cut it out and connect it all together and that was an undertaking and I was very nervous and I cried once and I was sweating the whole time so um, don't know if I recommend doing that if you have more time to make something like this do it through a professional printer they could do double-sided and have it line up and all that. But the idea is I'm gonna be going down to those companies, seeing if I can get in their door 
you know, it kind of takes that first before I can get to this. But if I can at least get a foot in the door, like enough space to like chuck this through the opening in the little crack that they've told me to get out out of, then, then hopefully I can at least make some sort of an impression. I, I really don't want to go on much more than that uh, for this video. I know it's really short and I didn't really talk about a whole lot except for this, but that was the idea, was here's this thing. Maybe you can make one of these things and make it your own. I used Pinterest to look at a lot of different creative leave behind sort of layouts because I think just a postcard would be okay, but this is like, you have this tactile experience of actually opening it up and interacting with it and your brain remembers that better and, and hopefully that's what I'm thinking at least. New Year's resolutions for me, uh, let's, let's see. I wrote a whole bunch down but I wanna pick just a few to live by and really actually stick with them. One of which is stay on YouTube and keep going with it. I think it's really helping me and seeing all of the comments that you guys have left has really sort of resonated with me and I hope with each other like I hope you're reading other people's comments and seeing like oh I'm not the only one so I want it that that just feels like a really healthy habit for me to continue with even if I feel like I don't have anything to say I hope you are still enjoying me just sort of like another thing is I want to be okay with being alone and this could be a whole YouTube video on its own. I think I've been working on it for the last maybe like six months but I want to keep going with it where I can do things by myself, I can take myself out on dates and it feels nice, you know, it doesn't feel like I need someone else there and it's the whole idea is being alone and not being lonely and as an extrovert that's really hard for me so I'm trying to work on that and I think it's going well but I want to push myself even further and continue with that this year. And then my final thing I would say is, um, oh God, it's hard to pick just one more. There's a lot of ways I could really <laughs> improve myself, live life in a way that I am not thinking about criticism from others. So putting myself out there, taking chances, taking risks, saying yes to things this past year, like saying yes to more things, really helped me be more social and get to know more people. And I found myself caring what people thought less and less as I did that. So taking that and pushing it even further and just putting myself out there unapologetically. You get the point. I want to put myself out there. I know I'm just kind of rambling. So happy new year. Thank you for watching as always. And please do let me know what your goals are for 2020. It's crazy. 2020. I will see you in the new year.